How are you feeling? If you can still manage it, then it'd be good if you could lend us a hand. Like you have nine lives. That was some explosion. This is a notice to Team Caesar. Wherever you are, when you see this notice, please report to the Tokyo Bureau of Meteorology immediately. You've enjoyed your time in Tokyo. Now it's time to get down to business. The old man is finally making a move. Let's go. Hopefully these guys' bikes still work. Where's Lou? He should still be inside the building. Don't worry about him. He's always been lucky. We'll come back for him once all this is done. Crikey! Nearly 70 years since my last visit, the fashion sense around here is still just as bizarre. It's even worse than we expected. God's awakening is accelerating. It has a fully independent will and it's trying to destroy Tokyo. It's like the second sinking of Takamagahara. How did you convince all the crazies from the equipment department to come to such a dangerous place? I said I would offer them luxury hotel suites and first-class tickets, and that Tokyo is the greatest place on the planet. So here they are. But I've yet to mention there is a god somewhere in Tokyo. Mr. Anju, you really are out of your mind. You should have been briefed already. Come in and let's start. If you were watching this footage, I assume you are in deep trouble now. Once God has returned, Tokyo will be the first city to be destroyed. The volcanoes in Japan and those off the coast will erupt all at once. Tsunamis and continental plate collapses will follow. The continental plate is too fragile. and the worst case, all of Japan may sink into the ocean. Anju, my dear old friend, I guess you have figured out the most straightforward solution. To kill God. You're always... God will surely be dealt with. We are the secret society after all. However, you are fighting no ordinary Dragon Lord, but the Light King. An incomplete embodiment of the Light King. I know you carry the Seven Sins with you, but your little daggers won't do the trick. They are true dragon-slaying swords, but Norton never thought that the Light King would come back to life when he forged these swords. So these alchemical weapons won't kill the Light King. You may wonder, what is a suitable weapon to eliminate a god? Please allow me to introduce the ultimate weapon developed by the Gattuso Research Institute. Its codename is... Divine Wrath. Ladies and gentlemen, Divine Wrath is currently traveling in low orbit, 1,020 kilometers above the Earth. The satellite carries the Sword of Damocles that can save all of humankind. When the sword descends from the heavens, it can easily cut through the Earth, let alone a god. 
No matter what this creature is, it's still a life form that can be killed. The punishment from heaven will descend like a fury and incinerate every single cell of it. I will leave some time for your astonishment. Space-based kinetic energy weapon. This space-based kinetic energy weapon? It is a six-meter-long metal stick made from high-density tungsten, manganese, and uranium. When released in space, gravity will pull the stick straight down. Track adjustments are made via the impenages. The kinetic energy level on impact is no less than a mini-nuke. To some extent, it is a man-made meteorite. Is it technically possible? I believe that they've developed a working prototype. No living thing could survive the attack of such a weapon. No cell will survive the strike at the center of impact. Any biological substance will be destroyed instantly. That's enough wonder and amazement. Based on our intelligence, God is in the wild mountains. This deserted area is ideal for the launch of divine wrath. Don't worry yourselves. No one will be hurt. Let's drop the metal rod and shatter the great dream of the Light King's reawakening. I have already sent the launch code to little Eva. The Divine Wrath is the top secret of the Gattuso family, and this is the best help I could offer to my old friend. Contact Eva. I need to know when this Divine Wrath comes online. I have completely hacked into Tokyo's entire network. I am ready whenever you need me, Mr. Anju. Has Pompey sent you the launch code for Divine Wrath? Two minutes ago, I obtained launch authorization powers for Divine Wrath. It is now under my control. At your command, I am ready to send down a metal rod from the heavens that will engulf the target area in a sea of flames. Is it ready? No, there is a time limit. Divine Wrath is, at its core, a man-made satellite. It travels in low Earth orbit and takes about 90 minutes to complete one revolution around the Earth. Divine Wrath can only be unleashed when it arrives right above the city of Tokyo. Currently, the satellite known as Sky Patrol is on the other side of the Earth. It will appear above Tokyo in approximately 70 minutes. This could very well be our only chance. Should we miss it, Divine Wrath will not be ready for another 90 minutes. Right. 70 minutes. Let's see if Tokyo can hold out for another 70 minutes. We need the exact coordinates of that well to avoid any collateral damage. That well is a military target. Its coordinates are classified. Only the High Patriarch of Hydra knows them. I will contact him now. However, he is currently receiving medical attention for his injuries. His status is unknown. I just need the coordinates. Go on, get him to talk while he is still breathing. That arrogant bastard has brought us enough problems already. Just let him do something useful for once. Yes, I am an arrogant jerk. I have messed everything up. Water well number 13, aka the Red Well. It's located in a mountain near the Tamakawa. Here are its coordinates. An hour ago, we lost contact with the ninja team guarding the Red Well. It has been overrun by the Devil Clan. There is no doubt about it. God is inside that well. Eva, get the Divine Wrath ready. Also, High Patriarch and I will have a private conversation. 
Everyone, please leave. Let Caesar's team stay. I have some things to tell them. I came to Japan to meet a couple of people, including you. Yet you've turned me down many times. This is the first time I've ever been rejected by a student. I traveled a long way to be here, you know. I rather regret awarding you the principal scholarship. As a student of the college, I was honored to receive the scholarship. However, as the current High Patriarch, I had to refuse you a meeting. Alas, I'm not a good student. I failed to learn what you wanted to teach me the most. I've also failed as High Patriarch. They believed that I was Amateresu no Mikado, and died for me. But I couldn't create a new future for them. I led the family to its doom. Even after all these years, you continue to be haunted by the past, Chisei. You mean about Chime? Did you hear it from Caesar? You told me that yourself, don't you remember? This is a story that you told me many years ago. You didn't mention names in the story, nor did you tell me that it was your own story. You asked me, what price would I be willing to pay in the pursuit of justice? I forgot. I thought I would never tell that story to others as long as I lived. Pour me a cup of tea, please. That afternoon, I invited you for tea. I then suggested that we could use some fine wine. We ended up drinking three whole bottles. You were tipsy when you raised the question. Since you don't remember ever asking me in the first place, I assume you don't remember my answer either. Could you tell me it again? Benedict said that righteousness is seen as the highest virtue in Japanese society. In the name of righteousness, even the crimes of betrayal, murder and deception are allowed. Abiding by righteousness seems to shield wrongdoers from any blame. I think that I could match Benedict's righteousness with the justice you talked about. Yes. What is righteousness? It's a kind of absolute justice that transcends personal morality. As your principal, I cannot approve of your so-called righteousness. There is no justice in this world that should transcend any individual's rights. For some, vengeance is justice. Whereas for others, protection is justice. If you truly care about your young brother above anything, then protection is your justice. You must be willing to take on the world to protect him. If you feel agonized when exercising such justice, then that is because you simply don't approve of this so-called justice. The righteousness you have been following was given. It didn't originate from you. Perhaps to you, justice simply means revenge. Yes, I will not feel pain or agony if I die while carrying out my vengeance. But what I will sorely regret is that I was denied a chance to ram a blade into the Dark King's heart. All these years, revenge was all you could think about. As the principal of Castle College, I'm one of the few people with enough power to fulfill his vision of justice. All you can think of is vengeance against the dragons. 
We could have had this meeting far earlier if it weren't for your fixation on revenge. I am terribly sorry for letting you down, but justice has no place in my mind. I would trade anything to wipe out the dragons, because they took my most precious friends away from me. Surely by now, Hydra's intelligence network must have collected every little detail about my past. An ordinary person may have four seasons in their lifetime, whereas in my case, there is only summer and winter. I did not have a family, nor did I have one to care about, until I met Manaka Castle, that is. I despised this world, yet I wanted to escape poverty and loneliness through my own power. My life was lost in a long-lasting cold. Then Lionheart took me in. I was welcomed by summer. <laughs> my life was full of hope and sunshine. I had great friends. I was respected. I had great goals. I had a future to fight for. <sighs> But then those damn dragons took everything away that early summer evening. I was the only survivor left. I lost all of my friends, and all the glory and dreams are no more. The cold winter seized me again. However, this time, I was not born a great man. Like everyone else, I look forward to the warmth of friendship. I would have lived a simple and shallow life with the support and warmth of friends. And the dragons, they were the ones that deprived me of that life. It has been decades, <laughs> yet I can still feel the pain of losing all my friends and being trapped in loneliness. And the only cure to it is vengeance. Many people let the word forgiveness slip from their mouths too easily, not knowing what true hatred feels like. Don't you think it's sad to live for nothing but hatred? How many objects can a man possess in his lifetime? I had absolutely anything and everything I could imagine. Then that one summer evening, I lost it all. This is how I live my life. I will not leave this world unheard. I will die roaring. Everyone lives for themselves. What we call absolute justice is nothing more than a fig leaf for their hatred <laughs> and desires. If you believe in it, then you are too naive, Siri. After all these years, it's wonderful to learn from you once more. So from this point onwards, the reins are in the hands of Castle College. I implore you to have some rest now. Let us hope we will all see another sunrise. Caesar, you will show the High Patriarch the way out. Let's stop here. It is my hope that you will learn something from my conversation with the principal. Consider it a final gift from me to you. Goodbye, my friends. Get the chopper ready. Take me to the Red Well. Divine Wrath is on its way. I need to stall the god for another 50 minutes. Mr. Andrew, looks like something else has popped up. New threats? The Tokyo Bureau of Meteorology has camera buoys deployed all around Tokyo Bay. Just a few minutes ago, these images from some of their cameras came in. Well, 
Give me the location. At the time, they were 34 kilometers from Tokyo. Given their speed, I estimate that they are currently about 32 kilometers away. What I mean is, those things are closing in on Tokyo. How many of them? Their number likely exceeds 10,000. I thought the collapse of Takamagahara took all the Warden armies. How could there be so many Wardens? I don't know. The most probable scenario is that other cities also sank into the sea along with Takamagahara, but the land masses probably broke apart during the process. The Ancient Ones had this tradition that's similar to mummification. They turned all of their dead into corpses to guard the city. Now, all those guards have awakened. Their instincts are telling them to go present themselves to a newly awakened god. Tokyo is right in the middle of their path. We must think of a way to stop them. The corpse wave must not reach downtown. It would be catastrophic. If we can gather the Warden army close enough, I might have a solution. Remember the refined sulfur bomb? This weapon is designed for embryo annihilation. There is one loaded on the Trieste, another one is currently stored in Tokyo. Once detonated, the refined sulfur will contaminate water within a thousand meter radius. The explosion may not be strong enough to kill God, but the damage is enough to eliminate the Warden army. There is only one problem. How do we gather them in a circle of a thousand meter radius? How does one launch this warhead? No time to install it on the missile. We'll deliver it by helicopter, then you set it up and detonate it manually. Ah then, so tell me, how long do you need? It'll take around 30 minutes, which means the sulfur bomb will be ready when the Divine Wrath is released. Go get your sulfur bombs ready. I will buy you 30 minutes. Also, try to contain the Warden armies within a thousand meter radius. Tell the helicopter to get ready. Caesar and Johan Chu, come with me. The Vice Chancellor will take over the command of this place, including Eva. Sir, Akueru Uesugi is asking to meet with you. You! Out of my way! God has been awakened, hasn't it? Can you get me on a flat out of Tokyo? I saw your missing persons notice on the big LED screen. You're in charge of Tokyo now, aren't you? I want a plane ticket out of Tokyo! As Hydra's former High Patriarch, you were in charge of its defense. You know it far better than I do. Help me! All I want is a plane ticket! I don't run an airline. I can do nothing with your goddamn plane ticket. But now Tokyo is under your control. Help me, my friend. All I want to do is leave Tokyo. I don't care if you stuff me into the cargo bay. Destruction is imminent. You are one of the few people in this world that could save it. And instead of offering help, you ask me to get you a plane ticket for France. Nobody will be able to stop it once it awakens. The only chance for you to kill it was before it woke up! That window is gone now! From Susanoo to Amaterasu to Sukuyomi, generation after generation, we sacrificed everything just to bury it deep in the ocean. But now it's back, alive and well! If it's a living creature, it can be killed. God is no exception. Fan, you win! You are humanity's future, and I'm a deserter! I don't care who looks down on me. All of you have a right to! But all I want is a plane ticket. I haven't asked you for anything before. This is my first and last request. I want a plane ticket to France! Please! Damn it! Now you want to run away? You should have gone a long time ago if you miss France. If you care about Tokyo. You should stay and protect it! Well, 
You've made it very clear. You messed everything up. This is my latest physical report. I'm running out of time! Yes, I was the Emperor, but I'm not a monster like you! I'm an old man now. Nothing like the monster I was when I was younger. I'm an old monster at death's door. <laughs> I should have been dead a long time ago, but the blood somehow keeps me going. Every night for the past 30 years, I hear death knocking at my door. I only have one dream left, and that's to return to France. I want to see the convent that my mom stayed at. I want to die and be buried there. I want to lay inside the coffin and hear people sing a requiem for me. It's not that I don't want to leave Tokyo. I simply haven't dared to. I've been away from France for far too long. It's foreign to me now. All my friends there are dead. If I go back, I might suffer the pain of disappointment. But I've been saving money all this time. Now I have enough to buy a little place in Lyon. I have to go. If I don't go back to France now, I won't even get a chance to be disappointed. Years ago, you came to assassinate me, to honor the glory of Japan. And now you want to abandon this country. I guess time has well and truly worn us out. We are old now. But you have become an old bastard. Ugh. Why should I sacrifice myself for Japan? I've already done it once. Is that not enough? All those people cared about was my bloodline. They arranged several wives for me because they just wanted to breed me. Like they did with my father. They even took a DNA sample from me and sent it to Germany. If they can create a new emperor by test tube, they'll cast me aside in an instant. I'm no hero. I'm just a regular person. Everything I've tried to do in this life, I've got wrong. Please spare my pathetic existence. I can't help you. You are a fanatic who will stop at nothing to achieve his goal. I... I don't have that kind of courage. Enough! I don't have time for your nonsense. Well, I don't have a ticket for you either, and the planes are all fully booked. To get you on the plane, I'd have to take somebody else's seat, and nobody has the right to do that. If I did, I would become a bastard like you. But wait, I, I have a private jet ready and waiting at the airport. Come with me. Come. I will have the helicopter transport you there. Your... your private jet? But then, what are you going to do? I am a man who lives only to seek vengeance. Dying is no threat to me. Well, I know you still like women and sweet little things, because they make your life more meaningful than mine in, oh, so many ways. Leave the path of death to the fanatic. Death is a fitting end for a fanatic. Caesar and Johan, Let's go.
You will arrive at the airport in 10 minutes. When you arrive, the plane will be ready to take off. If we ever meet again, that would really be quite something. Now, run for your life. Thank you. Thank you, aren't you? We will take number six. The principal wants to defend Warden Waves on Cyperdina Island? I've checked on the map. The artificial island is on their path towards Tokyo. It's our last resort. May victory be yours. Wow. <laughs> A massive army. Caesar, pass me the MG. I heard that people fight most valiantly when they have their backs against the wall. Gentlemen, welcome to our last stand. Boss, I always thought we'd be evacuated by helicopter once higher-ups like you leave. Sure, sure. Aren't we the smartest bastards of the human race? We'll journey into space to survive as humans, even if the world should come to an end. You are no match for Mr. Andrew in terms of experience. He won't be fooled by something like this. Oh, what are you waiting for? Move! Kill that son of a bitch! You mean Mr. Andrew? I'll check if we can find some AA missiles. Fool! The principal's an SOB, but killing him won't help! I'm talking about the other SOB! The Awakening God! <laughs> <laughs> 